Than that, it is now time for our lightning round game. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask you 10 random questions and you just kind of uh -oh. go ahead and answer them however you please. So here we go. Are you guys ready for lightning Ooh, nice round graphic. with Matt Cardona? I know I always, uh, this is why I like StreamYard because they allow you Stream to- StreamYard's great. We use it for graphic. Major Pod. Yes, it's so much fun. I do yes. wish they had a little bit more selection though in mm. terms of like little graphics that you can use, but- it is what it is. Here, here we go. Uh, question number one. Is there a figure that you have ever regretted buying? Oh, okay, so this is kind of like a two-parter. So a couple months ago, I bought this um, this LJN. LJN is a company that was around in like the, the mid to late 80s who made the WWF figures. And there was this Hulk Hogan figure that never came out. It was pictured on the back of the box. It was like a Hulk Hogan and a Macho Man. And you would like squeeze their legs and their arms would raise up. It's called like some sort of like grip muscle grip figure. Uh, so I found the Hulk Hogan prototype and I spent a lot of money on it. Like a lot of money. Uh, the, the, not the most I've ever spent on a figure, but the second most I've ever spent on a figure. And I got it. And I was like, Oh man, like that was a lot of money. I don't know if I should have did it, but then like I call it figure fate. Uh, a couple weeks later, I found the, the matching macho man and I got it for a steal. So in my sick mind, I kind of like evened it out and, and said like, well, I paid that much for both of them. So I regretted it. And then I took it back. <laughs> you know what? In this, in this sense, buyer's remorse paid off. Yeah. <laughs> Question number two, what is your favorite animated movie? Uh, does Toy Story count as animated? Yes. You know, Oh my God. So this is kind of weird. So when I was thinking of these questions for you, I was going to ask you who your favorite Toy Story character was, but then I was like, what? I was like, you know what? I'm going to change it up. I'm going to ask him favorite animated movie, but somehow yeah. I already felt Toy Story was going to be like the answer. Yeah. And I think it's a, it's a tie Buzz and Woody. It's a tie. I, I like them both. I like both, uh, you know, the, certain traits on both that I can resonate with, but yeah, I love Toy Story. It's a classic and, and it's about toys. I like toys. So that works. But in Toy Story 1, I almost feel like you kind of pick sides. Like, I felt like I was picking sides between Buzz and Woody. Were you more Buzz Woody in this sense? Because I connected more with Woody. Yeah, I, I was definitely more of a Woody guy. Uh, to me, it was kind of like, I liked them both. It was like WrestleMania 6, uh, Hogan and Warrior. Who are you going to choose? <laughs> exactly. Uh, question number three. What is your favorite thing about your dog? Oh, favorite thing. Uh, I love... <laughs> He's a big boy. We just yes. had to shave him actually because he got so like hairy and like mad. So we had to shave him down, but it's already growing back. Uh, I think that he's just so like lovable and he's so, he's so like, I've never had a dog that you could just like get as cuddly as possible. And he doesn't, he just lets you, it's just so great. Uh, and he's, he's, he's just a great, great dog. I've never had a dog where you could like literally just put your face in his face and just like rub it and he won't, he won't do anything. He won't care. Just lick you back. I love it. He seems so comfortable. I was looking at the pictures. So I was like, oh, you just feel like holding him. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question number four. What would you say is the most unreasonable or crazy thing you have ever done to get your hands on a collectible? Now, I don't think this is unreasonable, but I could see other people, including my fiance. She ha she brings it up all the time. So I know she thinks it's unreasonable. Uh, there was maybe about two or three years ago, there's this really, really rare pre-production prototype action figure that I wanted. And I was talking to the collector and part of the deal was that I would give him a tour of my toy room in my house and make the deal like in person. So I guess that's kind of weird to let a stranger into my house, but hey. I needed the figure. So I don't think yeah. it's unreasonable. <laughs> I feel like, you know what? I can see this on both ends because, no, yeah. I see, I, trust me, I see it. I get yeah. a stranger. Like a stranger in, he knows, like, where the doors are. And, the, you know, like, he knows where the, the setup of the house. Uh, it's a little strange, but it was worth it for Tugboat. You know, oh, that's what it was for. Awesome. Yeah. You know what? I feel like it's not that, that bad. I mean, in terms of, like, yeah, now this person can go and, like, leak your information or whatever right. it may be. <laughs> so that is the scary side of it. But I, I think. I don't know, but that is pretty crazy. Uh, question number five. What's the most insane offer another collector has offered you to buy one of one or all your figures? Uh, okay, so I don't, I buy stuff for me, right? Now, do I buy certain things to flip? Do I buy certain things as an investment? Sure. But the majority of the time, I'm buying it for my collection. And <laughs> this is a weird story, but I bought this prototype of... Uh, <laughs> Uh, LJM prototype that the company in the eighties, they made Miss Elizabeth, but then in like, I don't know, in the factory or what they made a couple of her where she was naked oh, and it's like wow. really, really weird. And I acquired it in a, in a lot of figures 
And we did a podcast like reviewing all the LJN figures. It's actually on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash major pod network. And we showed the naked Elizabeth figure, but I blurred it out like because it's still weird. Like, and I had it on display, but like in the back. So I didn't want to like, it's odd, you know, like it's it a naked a woman for some people. It's weird. So like, I had it, but it was like in the back. And I knew Macho Man would be pissed if I had it, um, you know? <laughs> so we show it on the pod uh, and we blur it out and somebody hit me up for it. And, you know, said they, they wanted to buy it. I'm like, no, oh, it's not for sale, not for sale. And then they said, I said, make me an offer uh, that I can't refuse. And they did. And then I just added a couple of th- a couple more thousands to it. And they said, yeah, and I, I sold it. I mean, I'm a toy businessman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a toy businessman. Wow. Yeah. No, I like that. That's and yeah. I, I didn't even know that that figure existed. So that's pretty right. Awesome. There's a couple of them in the world. It's not really supposed to be made. You yeah. know, like they made it like, you know, in the office or whatever. It's really, really weird. Uh, really, really creepy. And I'm actually glad that I don't have it in my collection anymore. <laughs> And you made, you made, you made some nice profits. Oh, yes, I did. (laughs) Uh, Question number six. What is yours and Chelsea's favorite way to spend a date night? Oh, (laughs) depends who you're asking. Oh, okay. (laughs) Uh, Okay. Uh, I think it's a tie. I could listen. I love just being on the couch with the dogs and the cats and and watching a movie or binge watching like a a Netflix show. Uh, But I think like my perfect night, if it was up to me, it'd be like getting dressed up nice, getting a nice dinner somewhere couple bottles of wine, a little espresso martini, uh, preferably at like a nice Disney hotel, get one of those uh, nice Disney dinners. That, that would be my answer. Awesome. Question number seven. How much space does your toy collection currently take up in your home? Uh, okay. So I have a toy room, which is not that big. It's like a spare bedroom in the house. Like maybe it's like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a, a you know, a carpenter or anything. So I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right term, but like, I don't know, 10 by 10. It's not big. Um, so that's my toy room. Then there's some things that this is my office that we're in and it's kind of spilled over in here, but my garage, it's like a storage unit. It's, it's insane. And then like, there's a closet that has things and like my little area that holds my air conditioner has things. So it's bad. It's bad. So I'm thinking you can fill up an entire house here or something that you can do. Like just continue filling it up. I, I need to get, I need to get a, a bigger house. It's funny. Uh, Christian who just returned to the Royal rumble, uh, when he first came to this house, I was this was like my first ever house. It was my dream. I was like, oh, so excited. He walks in like, yeah, good little starter home, kid. And I was like so offended and so mad. But, you know, four years have gone by and like, he's right. Like, this is, I can't live here forever. Because at the time it was just me. Now I have a fiance. I have a dog, uh, three cats and a lot of figures. So it's a little too small. How do you keep track? Do you keep track of all your figures? Like, is there, do you keep like a spreadsheet or anything? Like, no, or just, like, no. Any like, I'm pretty good. Like, if you show me something or ask me about something like nine times out of 10, I could tell you if I have it or not, but I, I don't have a list or anything like that. Like, let's say I was like, Oh, like where can you find this action figure in your collection? Like, can you easily like just find it yes, from wherever yes. you have? Yes. Cause I'm, I'm pretty in the toy room. I'm pretty organized. If it didn't make the toy room cut and it's in the garage, I could find it. it might take me a while. <laughs> awesome. Uh, question number eight, how much time would you say you spend hours a day? Here? A lot, too much time. I have eBay safe searches where like, you know, you, you can type on eBay, like what you're looking for. And then like, it'll come up so every day. I check my save searches. Really. They email you when, the, when something pops up, but it's like on a couple hour delay. So you have to be checking because by the time you get the email, it could be gone if it's something really, really rare. So I check that multiple times a day. And then I'm in all these like Facebook groups and message boards. And that's where I found, that's where I find most of the rare stuff is in these Facebook groups, not on eBay, because people don't want to put things on eBay because then you get the eBay seller fee, the PayPal fee, and they just take away a bunch of your, your profit. So it's all in these like underground groups. I like this. I like all this like insight on it because like, I, I, oh, yeah. I don't know about this stuff. So for me, hmm. it's so interesting to sort of hear of like the underground world of where. Oh, it's definitely this like underground go. world. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, question number nine. Aside from your own, what are some of your other favorite podcasts? Uh, I got a shout out Victory, the podcast at Entourage podcast, which brought the idea for MC trolling on the story to life. Um, I love podcast the ride. It's this like Disney uh, theme park podcast I, I listen to so many theme park podcasts um that's pretty much it like i don't really listen to wrestling podcast i used to love like the bruce pritchard stuff like that uh the conrad stuff is great but now like i just listen to you know like disney stuff or there's like uh something called like sand crawler podcast about star wars toys i'm uh, probably leaving some people out so i'm sorry but <laughs> i do listen to a lot 
No worries. That's awesome. It's great to hear like the theme park podcast. Like I haven't given those a chance, a shot. So I, that's something. Oh, I there's so great. many good ones. There's so many. Awesome. Question number 10, in your opinion, what makes a figure special or unique? Ooh, um, I personally like if something is hard to get, like if it's like uh, limited edition or if it's like short packed or something like that. Those are my favorite types of figures. Uh, yeah, it's cool to like walk in a store and buy something, but I like things that are like super rare, whether it be like a comic con exclusive or a certain exclusive to a certain store. Those are my favorite types. Awesome. There you go. That is our wrap for our lightning round game. It was really awesome just to hear about all of this stuff. It's it's so entertaining to me. Matt, I want to thank you so much and I wish you so much luck on your on your podcast adventures and just everything that you're doing. But before we go, feel free to plug in anything that you'd like to plug in. Oh my God, there's so much to plug. I'm going to forget. Uh, <laughs> Twitter and Instagram for me, it's at the Matt Cardona. Uh, then on Twitter and Instagram at Major WF Pod. Download the Major Recipe for Podcast. Subscribe to all the podcasts. MC, True Long Island Story, coming February 17th, the exact 10-year anniversary of the first Z True Long Island Story. And then the Major Pod Network. Uh, follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Major Pod Network and youtube.com slash Major Pod Network. And then all the social media. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff to plug. I need to I need to hire somebody to just come in and like to, to spew everything off. But uh Everything's been great. So just uh, and keep watching me on Impact. I appreciate that. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hunt down all of these links and I'm going to post them all oh, in the thanks. description box <laughs> yeah. so that people can go and click and follow and choose whatever they want to go ahead and follow awesome. and check out all of that stuff. So that will be on there. Matt, I want to thank you so much for doing this interview with me. It was great to chat with you and I want to thank everyone for watching as well. Please do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome interviews like this. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. This is Matt Cardona and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, see everyone. Bye.